Erica. At the beginning of the school year, Bethel Tate kindergartners were given a pillow and they were told to dream big. Part of a grassroots program that is lifting up children in the Claremont County Village. 42% of the students there are economically disadvantaged. So the program starts with feeding the body. And as Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us, it also feeds the spirit. These bags are delivered to Bethel Tate schools at the end of every week. Tiger packs, named after the school mascot, are filled with food to last a weekend. They are discreetly given to children who could go hungry. Always we give out two proteins, we give out breakfast, we give out snacks, we try to do a fresh fruit. Food is donated or paid for with money raised by the Bethel Group Empower Youth. Teacher Jerry Brown says hungry children sometimes act out. I can ask them, what did you have for breakfast? I didn't eat breakfast. What did you have for dinner last night? We don't have food in our house. Well, that's, that's the reason. They're, they're not children with poor behaviors, they're hungry. Feeding children is just part of the program. This is 11-year-old Dakota Dempsey. He started wearing ties after going to the leadership programs. Then there was the college field trip that changed the way he sees himself. I did not want to go to college at first, but then when I got there, I did. Today he talks about being a cop or an engineer. I fixed the uh, dry, dryer heating element all by myself just by looking at it. It's really exciting because I definitely want better for my kids than you know what I did because I didn't attend college. Alyssa says Dakota's changed in a year. The tie is part of that. He likes wearing his shirt and tie, so he looks more confident and professional. Dakota and other children work in the community and get paid by Empower Youth that also raise enough money to send 138 of them to camp that may include another college visit. They say, wait a minute, I can do this. Mama never went to college, Daddy never went to college, but I think I can go. And we said, yes, you can, and we're going to help you get there. It's all a grassroots community thing that opens a window to the world that allows dreams to come in. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. You can find more information on Empower Youth at empoweryouth.me. Uh, we have a link at local12.com.